Master Carden, and this is my submission for the HeroX NASA Space Poop Challenge. It's called the MACES Perineal Access and Toileting System, or MPATS. The MPATS, as the name alludes to, is a system of devices that allows you for perineal access and toileting. The main part of this suit is the perineal access port, um, here shown with a safety cap. The perineal access port removed from the suit looks like this. The suit line would be about here and the flap valves that uh, retain the atmosphere inside the suit and allow for introduction of uh, devices by the use of an introducer which also maintains the gas in the suit and allows access for devices. Here is pictured the female urine suction device. Also here is a male urine suction device, which would be through the introducer the same way into the port and to suction device pictured here attached to your suit with air gas return through the suit. So the introducer goes through the PAP in for the function and then the fluids collected here and air return to the suit. <clears throat> Other devices that can be inserted through the PAP by use of an introducer include uh, underwear designs, such as this female design that could be a part of a urine gel, uh, uh, a gel-based urine system, and a male device here that could also be part of a gel-based urine system or just underwear, also for menstrual fluids. This is the feces containment and perineal hygiene device where you would have an inflatable cuff. And this all would be rolled into an introducer as well, would open up. Uh, this is the uh, bidet system that would allow you to wash the perineum after defecating. This cup would be stiff and elastic and would coil up when deflated and uncoil when inflated. You have suction and another lumen. Uh, to inflate the device and for water. So this this umbilicus would stick out through the perineal access port when the device was in use for suction, manipulating the bidet. You could also add video to that system fairly easily and cheaply. All of these obviously are rough, uh, rough prototypes when designed in a lab for that purpose. You would be able to have more ergonomic designs such as this uh, perineal reacher used for those with access problems. Also, if the suit was not flexible enough when inflated to allow degrees of motion, uh, you could use a ball device um, to allow more degrees of motion in the suit, which would put your perineal access valve would work. So rotating in a cuff in the suit.